every organization has a certain level of dysfunction. You really need somebody to help lead you through that kind of self-examination and, and to help you become more self-aware as an organization about, about how where you're, the areas that you're functioning well and the areas maybe you're not functioning so well. My name is Brian Holt. I am the president and CEO of Hope Cancer Resources. Hope Cancer Resources was the you know, resulted from the coming together of two other organizations, being NARTI and Hope, or Helping Oncology Patients Excel. We have two primary focuses, actually. One is to serve cancer patients and help meet needs. We do not provide treatment uh, for cancer and to the patients, but what we do is provide other services to help the patients through uh, what can be a very trying time in their lives. The secondary focus, which is just as important, is providing educational opportunities and screening opportunities for screenings to hopefully detect cancer at the earliest stage so that it can be treated more effectively. What Soderquist was able to do and what uh, Tom and Sandy and, and Clayton were able to do is really to help us to focus on First of all, who we are, because this is this was a values-based strategic planning process, and so we started looking at our mission statement. We started in which we already had, and we ended up tweaking that. Just we changed one word, as it turned out, but we ended up tweaking that mission statement. We developed a vision statement from scratch. We developed our values. I think coming out of the process with Sotokos, it's really two major things. It is strategic plan, as you think about strategic plan and, and developing objectives and focus and and being able to move forward with those things, but it's also the, the alignment piece which is just as critical for us moving forward. I think even though there, that was a painful process to a degree to go through, I think that was definitely a highlight because it helped us, I think, move to another level as far as our personal relationships with each other and as far as uh, how we are going to move, to move forward together again uh, from this point. We are voicing some things now, and when I say we, some of our other staff are voicing some things now that, that would not have been voiced previously, and so we're able to share about those things, we're able to talk through those things. Our folks are making a conscious effort to apply some of the techniques, some of the, the, the um, thought process, some of the realization that they had, I think, coming through the process that we can do some things to help make this better. And again, we want to make this better. A benefit that I see coming out of the process with Soderquist is that we were able to develop that strategic plan framework to help us to develop a more specific focus on those things that we need to work on. And we have the action plans in place um, that we are engaging right now, that we are implementing right now, that we're developing right now. If we're able to meet those objectives, then just that in and of itself, we're going to be able to provide better service to, to the patients that we serve.